I'm going to shift gears uh, somewhat and take you on a journey into Burma. After many years of traveling and studying in India, I moved into Burma where I started to go to monasteries. At one point, I really wanted my husband and I to go travel Burma and just experience the, this country. A sidebar, Burma is also known as Myanmar. And so we were traveling and we went to northern Burma to a place called Bagan, which has beautiful ancient Buddhist temples spread out over vast lands. And it was hot. It was about 44 degrees. It was so hot. And there we were. We had rented bikes to get around and travel and just experience this sweet little village as well as some of the temples. But this one day we, we had a tiff. And I wasn't in the best mood, so I kind of sped away on my bike and went to the temple and parked my bike and mm, huffed off and was sitting at the front, in, in the front of the temple. Often these ancient temples, because they are made of stone, the entranceway is quite cool, but cave-like, quite dark. And I was sitting there um, expecting my husband to come in. I sat there and I sat there and he never showed up. So I just waited for a little bit still kind of grumpy and irritated and in a huff, which I don't even remember why, just saying. And then I looked at kind of into the entranceway as somebody else was walking in and there was a person of color and there was a Caucasian. The Caucasian had a little child in her arms and the person of color had another child um, holding onto their hand. And for some reason, I just kind of looked at these people and I was like, what is up with everybody trying to be like Angelina Jolie and adopting all these kids from around the world? I have no idea why my mind said that. That's just where it was. And that's just what I saw and kind of grumpy. My husband never showed up. And so I went into the temple. We found each other. He just went into another entranceway. And so we did our visit and we carried on through our day. And that evening, we met up with some friends that we knew that we had all done some different temple, temple hopping, I'll say. And in the evening, there's quite a famous place to go watch the sunset. And so our one friend had gone there to watch the sunset. It was his last night in Bagan. But the temple was closed, so you couldn't see the, the, the vastness, climb up the stairs to see the vastness of the, the sunset. And the reason why the temple was closed, because Angelina Jolie was there. My husband looked at me, I looked at my husband because I told him the story of me being grumpy and what I saw. We looked at each other, we were shocked and then I just burst out laughing because it was the best teaching. Often what we describe in our teachings of mindfulness is that we don't see clearly. Right? When we're in a certain state of mind, that's all we see. And so I was in a state of mind of irritation, anger. So that's all I saw. So even though my this is what I believe. Even though my intuition was seeing someone different, I was still seeing through the veils or the clouds of anger. <laughs> and so that was such a beautiful teaching for me that, wow, right. When I'm angry, I just see anger. When I'm agitated, I just see agitation and keep adding on. So, yeah. That's my uh, story of meeting, but not meeting, Angelina Jolie and meeting mind states. Thank you.